I'm Dr. Carrie Horn, and you are listening to an excerpt from my book, A Soul Aligned, How God Heals His Creations. In this video, we are continuing a series that, um, that I started uh, on the end times. And this, I encourage you that if you haven't heard any of the prior videos that you go back to the initial, the first video, uh, which is entitled The End Times, and listen to them in order because um, this is one series in which uh, the understanding is going to build on each other um, <clears throat> as you go through the series. So I encourage you to listen to them in order. This one is entitled The Two Remnants. Six of God's angels' trumpets will sound to alert his people to return to him, repent, and receive his ministry. I had originally believed that this would be during the seven-year period, but I do not necessarily see this in scripture. This mistaken thinking came from a carryover of the incorrect language used in churches of the tribulation. When we refer to the tribulation, it assumes that this is a distinct period of time, and usually that defaults to understanding the seven-year period. However, saints have been experiencing tribulation dating back to Christ's time on this earth. The entire book of Revelation is not describing a distinct period of tribulation, but rather tribulation of the end times, which includes Christ's time on this earth. We must use God's language for his own events if we are to understand the times correctly. Otherwise, we will mark everything by an event, such as the mark of the beast, and we will completely miss God's heart and the reasons he sends these things. There are two remnants that will be on the earth during this period, a, a 144,000 remnant of servants and a multitude that no one could count who will be saved and come out of the great tribulation, Revelation 7. A remnant of 144,000 will be sealed as servants of God, Revelation 7, 3. Then the first four trumpets will sound and the earth will be harmed, Revelation 7, 3, 8, 6 through 12. Those who are sealed will be spared from God's wrath, but will recognize and understand God's instruction for Passover. When the first four trumpets blow, those who are not sealed will be brought low. During this time, many will be purified, made spotless, and refined, but the wicked will continue to be wicked. None of the wicked will understand, but those who are wise will understand. Daniel 12.10 The seven angels with seven trumpets will be given power to harm the earth, to alert and as the beginning of birth pains of God's wrath. As I demonstrated in the previous section, God's wrath are the birth pains. We need not be afraid of the devil. We need fear the one who can kill both soul and body in hell. The seven trumpets are both God's love and mercy to alert his people to return to him and also his wrath for the wicked, but they are the beginning of the birth pains of his wrath. Remember that the devil is going to have a 42-month reign in which he will be permitted to persecute and kill God's people. But it is not the devil who triggers the great tribulation. It is God. We know this is the beginning of birth pains of his wrath because Isaiah said, Go, my people, come out into your rooms and shut the doors behind you. Hide yourselves for a little while until his wrath has passed by. See, the Lord is coming out of his dwelling to punish the people of the earth for their sins. The earth will disclose the blood shed on it. The earth will conceal its slain no longer. Isaiah 26, 20 through 21. We also know because God's angels place the seal of the lamb on the foreheads of God's servants before the first four angels with the first four trumpets begin harming the earth. Revelation 7, 1 through 4. This seal is so that the wrath of God will pass over them. While God's wrath will pass over his saints and they will escape his wrath in the first resurrection, they will still be on the earth during part of it to be tested. All of God's people are tested to see if they are faithful. However, this remnant will not have received God's ministry soon enough so, that they, so they will endure the hour of trial to be tested. Nevertheless, God's wrath is for those who, even when they are brought low and shown that the gods that they worship cannot save them, they still will not repent of their wickedness and idolatry. Revelation 9, 20 through 21. During the ministry of the 144,000, the four trumpets will be blown and they will be killed before the fifth trumpet. The remaining multitude in white robes, however, will be here during trumpets five through six and will be resurrected at the time of the seventh trumpet. Satan's wrath will come during the latter three and a half years of the seven-year period. 
During this time, the saints will be wearied, persecuted, jailed, and killed. Revelation 13, 10. There will be two remnants raised during the seven years. The first remnant is the 144,000 that are described as servants of God. Revelation 7, 3, who are offered as first fruits to God and the Lamb. Revelation 14, 4. When the fifth seal was opened, John saw under the, the altar the souls of those who had been slain because of the word of God and the testimony they had maintained. They called out in a loud voice, How long, sovereign Lord, holy and true, until you judge the inhabitants of the earth and avenge our blood? Revelation 6, 9 through 11. This is an elect remnant who serve God in a special capacity as witnesses for 1260 days. They have special honor to God and the Lamb as the first fruits offering. As servants, they have made their lives an offering to Christ, and they will be slain because of the word of God and the testimony they maintained. Revelation 9 through 11. To this remnant, he lifts up a banner for the distant nations. He whistles for those at the ends of the earth. Here they come swiftly and speedily. Not one of them grows tired or stumbles. Not one slumbers or sleeps. Not a belt is loosened at the waist. Not a sandal strap is broken. Their arrows are sharp. All their bows are strung. Their horses' hooves seem like flint. Their chariot wheels like a whirlwind. Their roar is like that of the lion. They roar like young lions. They growl as they seize their prey and carry it off with no one to rescue. In that day, they will roar over it like the roaring of the sea. And if one looks at the land, there is only darkness and distress. Even the sun will be darkened by the clouds. Isaiah 5, 26 through 30. The second remnant are not described as servants or offerings, but they are described as having gone through a purification process during the Great Tribulation. Daniel 12, 10. Revelation 7, 14. They have not worshipped or received the mark of the beast, and therefore they came out of the great tribulation or the first 45 days of great tribulation. Revelation 7, 14. John saw them as a great multitude that no one could count from every nation, tribe, people, and language. Revelation 7, 9. This group came out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Revelation 7, 14. This will also fulfill the prophecy of Daniel that many will be purified, made spotless, and refined. Daniel 12.10 These are those who received the ministry of Christ in their hearts and washed their robes and were brought out of the Great Tribulation. The Great Tribulation does not begin until after the abomination of desolation is set up. So these are those who came out of that 45-day period. If you have enjoyed this video, please uh, consider subscribing and ringing the bell icon so that you can receive more videos like this. There's another video that I'll be um, uploading that uh, comes after this one, and it is entitled An Event for All. So we'll continue to talk about this period of time, the end time, so that you can stand as God's people and understand what you're looking for. And... Um, really understand God's heart in why he sends these things. We know that God sends everything. He's sovereign over all. It's, the devil does not is not in control of fulfilling the end times or anything else. It's God that does that. And so we need to understand that. We need to understand his heart in why he sends certain things. Um, and, he, and also our hearts in how we hand ourselves over to the spirit we've chosen. And in the end times, when the Antichrist begins his reign, people who are on the earth, who have killed God's prophets one more time and chosen the spirit of the Antichrist to reign over them, that is the reason they are handed over. That's We need to understand that really clearly. Because we can and and even take a look around us at how that is happening, how people are handing themselves over to this spirit, which, by the way, is going to manifest, we know, first in a government system of many rulers coming together. Understand that and take it to heart. The next, uh, the next video, again, is entitled An Event for All. If you have enjoyed listening to this, um, subscribe, ring the bell icon. You may also contact me if you would like to participate in the workshops that I offer at carrie at drcarriehorn.com. 
And uh, I highly recommend that you uh, purchase the book, A Soul Aligned, as well as the workbook, uh, the Heart Known or Heart Known series, um, a practical application workbook for biblical healing. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you.